Hello family members, once again, you're welcome to the King Stevens Hold Hand Movement. And I know I've been missing all this while, but I'm back, I'm back for you, baby. I'll be coming back for you, back for you. Okay, so today um, we'll be talking about color correction and color grading. Of late, um, a lot of people have been asking me about how I do my color grading and color correction. So today I'm here to explain everything, every detail on how I do that. So let's go. At the right hand side of your of your screen you're gonna find the lumetri color tab this is a lumetri color tab here yeah? and this is where you're gonna do all the color grading and color correction so to start with i always like to do my color correction color correction is just actually fixing the exposure of of the image fixing the contrast of the image and making it look nice then color grading is where you have to now apply a look or how you want your film to look like so i need to work on my exposure i need to see if the exposure is rightly set if it's correct or not or just balance that out so for this image um, i will just work on um, i always like to use my uh my waveform to to do the exposure scopes and scopes i have my waveform and vector scope so i'll just work with the waveform RGB waveform or why not Luma this is what we call waveform and on this waveform zero represents the darkest part of the image and um, 100 up here represent the brightest point of the image the waveform represent your image from left to right so what I'm trying to say here is uh, this left hand side of your image represent this left hand side of your image so if I want to pick where my car is this is the car you can actually see it right here on the waveform. This is where my car falls. Do you understand? Let's fix the exposure of this image. And firstly, I'll bring down my blacks. I want my blacks to reach zero, right down here at zero. So I'll just take down the blacks under the basic correction. Under the basic correction, I'll just take down my black right to zero. Yeah, okay. I know I'm crutching a lot of details already, but let's move forward. Um, now I want to take my brightest spot, and if I can see, this is my brightest spot. It's around. It should be here. Take my white up. So this is 100. I take it up to 100. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yes. So if I just click front and back. Front and back, my baby girl. You, you, you see the difference already. So, now what next? I would like to arrange the shadows and highlights of this image to balance the the, the exposure properly. So, I want to bring in more shadows so I can see some more details right over here. And uh, I want to do the highlights. I want to take the highlights down a little bit. I also want to add a little bit contrast to the image so this is my footage after doing my exposure I will, I will like to do my saturation first to make sure that it's well saturated and because when you record on a flat profile like s log 2 you always um, lose a lot of colors it comes out very flat and colorless so you always want to add some more colors just punch out a little bit of colors or at the same basic correction I'm gonna add a little I'm gonna punch in a little bit of um, saturation right over here where I'm looking at my image right about 120 will be good so I'm satisfied with the color correction um, in most cases I always, I always want to do the white balance too because it's part of color correction because I'm fixing the exposure I'm fixing the saturation and I'm fixing the white balance when it comes to color correction so I'll just pick up this um this pen tool and I'll select on the screen where I really think should be white and if I can see on this image um, this this wall right here should be white so i'll just pick on it and let um, adobe premiere do the work for me so i think i'm really pretty white balance right now if 
I play if I just do before and after and this is after before after it's just very slight um, difference but it make a lot of improvement on the image okay so now I've done my um, color correction what next color grading color grading color grading color grading so color grading now is, is just you making the film look the way you want to bringing looks into the film making it look cinematic and all that so uh let me save my project on color grading i'm gonna come down to my creative tab i always like to use um lots lots is what they call lookup table it's like a preset but the only difference is that you cannot go back in and change individual uh, settings you just can dial down the intensity or pull up the intensity okay so what i'm going to use now will be the osiris lot from color grading center so yeah i'll just click on this look and browse i come over to my lots folder come to my osiris lot i just choose from any of these on this lots package you have um, both the lock and the rec 709 lot um with time i'll explain to you why i'm using the rec 709 lot so let me say uh um vision 4 okay it looks nice oh um, pretty small it looks nice too oh um, let me see vision 6 okay i think i like the vision 6 more i don't know why i just like it okay so when i apply my lots the first thing i want to do is die down the the intensity to let's say 60 percent then after that i just have to do now slight corrections to make sure that my lots fit or balances on my image correctly so i'll just um come over to the basic corrections still and do some basic corrections uh, let's say i want to bring i want to bring down um, a little bit of white just bring down the whiteness a little bit and add some small saturation why adding the saturation i always like to look at my vector scope um i'll click on the vector scope then let me take away the waveform <coughs> okay my vector scope okay vector scope now basically it shows you the saturation of your film so this is if you look at the the, the, the vector scope if i pump up this color you, you're going to see how this this um little stuff here go all the way up so if i do like this you see it increases so the more the, the more the saturation the more increases and the less the saturation the less it goes so that's black and white you can see that okay i'll just reset that so i'll just pull this up a little let's say 105 or pull up the saturation to 105 pull up the vibrance to let's say 10 percent okay i'm really good um my skies are already pretty blue so i don't need to add them okay let me say i'll bring down my shadows to um to some more uh bluish kind of feel because i want this um kind of cool look it all depends on what you want though depend on how you want your film to look like so i'm bringing it down to this blue bluish kind of look uh-huh right there my highlights i want to take it up to a little bit warm warm feel so that i can have this color contrast a little bit greenish or something oh try and blow no no it's a blow let me say a little bit a little bit greenish yeah so i think i have a good look from here so what i can just do is just do some slight um, adjustment just some slight adjustments like i really have i really have good saturation here otherwise i really want to pump it up again like that but i don't want to so i'll just leave it that way just leave it at 105 i could just make it 110 so 110 could be good then um no i'll keep it back at 105 sorry i think 110 is a little bit too much mm, 
right over the curves i just i always like to have this faded kind of look my nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. My in my in my my color grading so i'll just do this faded look on this curve yeah you have the, the the overall channel you have the red the green the blue channel so i just want it i just want to have that faded look so and to do that faded look i'll pull up my my shadows off up my shadows up and I bring it down a little bit doing that takes away some light so I just want to add a little bit um, a little bit lights on the highlights and still keep that feathered look okay so this this is way better mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nice okay so um if i wanted to pop out maybe some more sky i could just click on this blue on this blue um and just add some more blue to the sky the way i want to but i don't think it's necessary i think it's okay that way so i think i'm happy with my grid the mid tones i'll just push it up to the to the to the green a little a little to the green then um, I push up the shadows a little to the to the yellow so I think yeah I think this is good if you look before and after before and after before and after you can see it really has this color contrast the shadows are a little bit green the highlights are blue the, um, the highlights are a little bit yellow we have the blue sky at night okay let me see if i can if i can add more blue to the highlights a little bit yeah i think i like this this is really good this is really good okay so i'll save my project i want the sky to be a little, a little bit dark a little bit dark right at the top i just like it it gives it gives one nice feeling so i'm gonna add a i'm gonna add an adjustment layer so just click here uh-huh okay i'll just drag and put put on top of my image and um, I'm going to search on the effects panel curves I just really like using these curves when I want to do this um this star okay I'll just click on the on the curves on the RGB curves I, I'll just click on the mask tools so I'll click on the let's say triangle put it right up there I want my image to be down to let's say 25% so I'll just click all over like this so what I'm basic what I'm doing basically is I'm just creating a mask just around this top sky I can actually play just with this sky so when I have this now, I'll just fade it out so that it blends with the others. Okay, so I'll just come down here to the curve and I bring it down a little. Uh, I think I'll mask again so that it blends well. Bring it down a little. Bring this down like that. Add some more blue on it. Add some more feathering. More feathering. And if you see, it really brings in some more life. If I take it out, you see how that mean really brings in some more life into the image I don't know I just love it just love it wow 
see that okay so let's say i want to create a vignette around the image i just want to focus on i just want the eyes to focus on the on the car i'll just come up to the rgb i'll click on the ellipse tool and i'll just create this mask just like we did for the other one but now we're just making it like an oh like if like a spherical shape then i'll feather it again more um i just want to keep it on 25 so that i can see what i'm doing okay so i'll do the same thing i'll just bring down no i'll do i'll do i'll make it an inverted mat so i'll click on this invert so that it affects just the things um outside the window so i'll just bring it down like that but i don't want to affect the sky anymore so i can just take up so that i barely affect the sky i affect more of the corners something like that something like this can change add more green a little something like that wow i think i love this i think i love this i think i'm love with it i like it so if i look at my um, waveform um if i look at my waveform i can see that i can act i can just add a little bit of exposure to just make it bright up a little bit no that was too much yes i think this is good yeah so that's how i do my color grading I know it's been it's been it's been a tough process it's kind of complicated but i hope you guys understand something i hope you learned something from the color grading uh, uh thank you very much for watching um please don't forget to subscribe subscribe and like hit the like button if you like uh once again it's dr kang stevens hold hands movement and any question you have you can just inbox, in, inbox me you can just ask me the questions on facebook twitter snapchat whatsapp any of them i'll be ready to answer them with a video tutorial once again you can also get the the lots the link of the lots i use the osiris lots below oh uh, thank you very much and it's dr ken stevens and see you next time